Day shirts. I was asked over some emails how I was able to control multiple robots with one joystick during my last presentation. I also have it configured to control all of their heads from the Wii Remote. And, to go one step further, I decided to add in our flying robot. These are all being controlled by just one remote, so I'm going to walk through the software and show you how I was able to do this. EasyRobot.com Personal Robotics for everyone. I'm going to walk through how I created this project to control all these robots with one joystick. Load up a copy of Easy Builder and under File in Examples, you're going to find an example of multiple robots. So load that up. This is the project that I used that I just demonstrated. So the AR drone control is the only movement panel we have selected for this uh, particular project. Under the joystick, I have the takeoff and land set up for the buttons two and three. I also have the second joystick set up to do the drone up, down, and roll, and the first joystick set up to do movement panel. Now in order to control all the different robots at once, I used a movement script. So a movement script will execute different commands based upon the, the direction that you have specified. So the joystick is going to trigger a movement and the stop, forward, right, reverse, left are going to uh, execute their respective scripts. So for example, if I look under the forward script, you'll see here I have RTD2 and he has a H bridge. So those are turning on and off the H bridge. Wally has two modified servos. So those are turning on the modified servos in the appropriate directions. The Omnibot uses a BV motor controller. So that is using the motor controller command. Omnibot uses a H bridge. And the dialect also uses an H bridge. Under the initialization script, I have initialization commands for each robot. For example, RTD2, it turns on all of his lights. It also turns on the pulse wave for the enable pin of the H bridge to control the speed. Wally turns on his camera, his eyes, and it sets the servo speed for the head to smooth the head out. Omnibot specifies his eye lights, and the other Omnibot specifies his lights, his camera, his pulse wave, and he makes a couple beeping noises during initialization. The dialect turns on its lights and specifies its pulse width for the motor controller to be 70. In order to make all of the servos move appropriately, I used two servo controls, which are the relative servo controls. So the first board, which is board 0, which I have set up for um, RTD2, the port D0 is the master servo. All of these other ports are slaves to this one port. So I have them specified as different ports, the maximal and minimal positions, and the ratio being set for one. So each one of these is a different port and a different servo on each robot for its head. Under this control, this is also a relative servo control, and I have D1 being specified, even though RTD2 doesn't have a vertical axis for his head, I still just use that particular port. And I have the other two robots that do allow vertical head movement, such as Omnibot 2000 and Wally. -E. Then I use the Wii Remote here, and I have it specified to control the servo X and servo Y of the first board. And of course, when those servos move, these relative servo controls are going to move all the other servos too. For example, here, to turn left. And, of course, turn right. And I have the communication ports for each board specified in the connection control. And that's it.